Welcome to Daniel Reviews. I'm Daniel Goodwin, and today we're talking printer filament. All right, I, I would love to talk a little more about uh, solar power stations and um, portable energy and all that great stuff, but right now we're in the middle of two, the, I guess, bookends of two major snowstorms, so there is no solar production here in Iowa. It's bitter cold out, um, so don't have a lot to, to show you on that, but that means I'm spending a lot of time indoors, which means I'm using a lot of time on my bamboo printer. And you can see this baby is working away. It's uh, generally, since I've got it, it's been printing something or another almost every hour of every day, even when I'm sleeping. It's a true workhorse. I've already showed off a lot of the things that I've printed with it. Um, I can continue to print daily with it. Uh, I've been working on... Um, well, a Zelda sword for my girls. And um, one of the things that uh, has really impressed me is, is not only the print quality, but uh, again, just that reliability where I don't have to spend a lot of time baby in the printer. I just set it up and it runs. And I think that's my favorite part about this printer so far. All right, so I have, for the most part, I initially started off using just the bamboo PLA uh, filament. And honestly, my intention was to just keep buying the bamboo filament because, again, I am not interested in troubleshooting my machine. <laughs> I'm not interested in babying it or, you know, continuing to, to tweak and adjust to try to get it to per print this other filament perfectly. So my initial thought was, I'm just going to run bamboo filament and I don't care that I'm overpaying for it. I just want something that works reliably consistently. That was my initial thought. That said, I am a sucker for a good deal. Enter in Overture 3D. After the holidays, I found uh, a deal for Overture 3D uh, filament. I wasn't intending to do it, but it was a really good deal. They're doing 30% off. It was already well low priced. I clicked by, got the filament within a few days, and I started running some things through. First, I started off with their, um, I think it's called Eco uh, Filament. Let me see if I can find the exact, yeah, Eco, Eco PLA, and I'll, I'll have a link to it. Um, this stuff is the cheapest, uh, <laughs> cheapest stuff uh, PLA that I've seen. And maybe you can find some others out there that are cheaper, but it prints beautifully. Like, let's look at this. This is a hilt for, again, from the sword from Zelda, I guess. I don't, I'm not a player. I don't actually know. This is for my daughter. But, um, and I mean, it just prints gorgeous. And I think uh, with the 30% off, I was paying less than $10 a spool. And so, whoops. <laughs> Very impressed with the quality. I mean, just really prints well. I haven't really had any failed prints with it other than when I was trying to use the um, support filament along with this uh, filament, which I covered in another video and I want to come back to that and try it again. But just straight up printing, that I have printed probably four spools of this Eco PLA and it just, it just runs. It's awesome. So with that in mind, having really good success with kind of this eco uh, version of their PLA, I went with some of their more exotic um, PLA. This is called a bronze, uh, geez, what is it? A bronze shimmer, I think is what it's called. Something like that. Oh, uh, shimmer bronze. Yeah. I don't know if you can read that. Um, but as you can tell, it's got this beautiful like uh, sheen to it. And, and I printed off this with it. And it really, it really looks nice. Now I have had some problems with it. I had a failed print with it. This, this, interestingly, this came out perfect. It was in the same bed as the other object. The other object failed pretty badly. Um, I don't know if I've. Hang on a second. I think I can show that. Yeah, here we go. So this was the the guard uh, that I was. Uh, well, here's here's what it's supposed to look like um, in the midnight black, which worked great. Um, you can see that the so again the support on it failed, which caused this whole structure to kind of fail. I, it looks like perhaps it didn't adhere to the bed. Um, would be my guess. I don't know that for sure, 
So I'm going to give it another go. Again, this one came out perfect on the same, um, you know, print, but it didn't work out well for this one. So we'll probably do this one again to see how it works. Again, I do love the coloring though. All right, so just to be clear, I'm not getting sponsored by Overture 3D. Um, you know, they, they didn't ask me to make this video. It's just, I came across the filament after Christmas on a sale, kind of loaded it up on a Lark and been super impressed with it so far printing in the P1S. Um, still, jury's still out on some of the more exotic stuff, but that Eco Black, or I think it's called Midnight Black uh, PLO, PLA Eco, fantastic. I mean, and it's the best deal I've seen. Like regular price, I think it's like $12.99 a spool, which is really good. Um, there might be some others out there, but I know that this runs through the Bamboo P1S, like, as good as, as bamboo's own filament. So um, I definitely would highly recommend the Midnight uh, Black, the Eco version, especially if you can compare it with a, with a discount or a sale or anything. I'll include the Amazon links to not only uh, this, but some of the others that they have. I think if you run it, you'll find it. It does really well in your printer if you're, if you're interested in it. But again, um, really, really impressed and coming in at half the price of bamboo's, um, you know, proprietary filament. That can add up over time. Just another quick look at all, of, uh, well, many things, not all the things that I printed with the uh, Overture Midnight Black Eco PLA. So obviously this hilt, the sword, uh, again, uh, this actually is Bamboo Lab um, PLA. And uh, up close, you really can't tell the difference except for I printed this differently so some of the lines look much sharper because this is the top edge and I didn't print. This is the, the plate facing edge on this one so it doesn't look quite as sharp but then if you flip over, or sorry, this is the plate facing edge and honestly it just really prints well. Uh, again, I showed this hilt before but um, I'm a big fan of more functional prints. Uh, this is a hook I designed for my cubicle wall at work. Um, when I, I love functional because it just sharp edges everywhere and it just looks so perfect. You get you know intricate details and things it can become a little more um, well just not as sharp I guess is the way I describe it but it still does fantastic job and that's the printer really but the filament worked out super well. All right, I think that'll wrap up this video. Again, I wasn't asked by Overture 3D or you know sponsored by them by any way. The only, I guess, compensation would be if you click the Amazon links that I have in, below this to order their filament, but that's, that's about it. It's more of, I came across this filament. I've run many, many spools through my printer. I've been very pleased with every single thing that's come out. So I thought I'd share it in case, you know, you also have a Bamboo Labs and looking to find an economical uh, filament that that works well with your printer. I think I'd highly recommend these. I'll probably experiment more. I got several different other colors that I'll be running through in addition to you know kind of the uh, shimmer bronze and some of the other more uh, non-standard I guess is what I call that. So that's the that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.